This is what my golf simulator looks like. And in this video, I will explain exactly how I was able to connect my launch monitor to my PC, a TV monitor, and a 4K projector. Golf simulators are relatively new, so they can still be a little annoying to set up since the different companies are not standardized yet. My setup is made up of a Mevo Plus launch monitor, an XJME Horizon 4K projector, a 55 inch TCL 4K TV, and a 27 inch Dell 4K monitor. The golf software that I'm using is E6 Connect. If you are using your launch monitor with your phone or tablet, things are a little more simple. However, when you decide to change your setup to a TV or a projector, there are a lot more steps in the process. First, let's start with the launch monitor. The Mevo Plus is a little unique because it connects to your computer using Wi-Fi. This creates a unique challenge of its own because now your computer will be using its Wi-Fi connection on the launch monitor. The E6 Connect software also needs an internet connection to play, so now you are left with having to hardwire an ethernet cable into your computer to make the launch monitor and golf software work properly. If your golf simulator is in your garage or if it's too far away from your Wi-Fi source, then you may want to consider getting a Wi-Fi extender like the Google Mesh to avoid having to run an extremely long ethernet wire to your computer. The Google Mesh is also good in case you want to limit the amount of wire you have to run in general. Next, you have to set up your golf software if you haven't already. Keep in mind that E6 Connect is a graphically intensive software, so your computer needs to have the right graphics card and processor to be able to run it on full graphics. I recommend that you buy a dedicated desktop computer for your golf simulator that has the necessary hardware to run the game in full 4K quality. If your computer is lacking, then the game will be choppy and much less enjoyable if you are the kind of person that appreciates good graphics. E6 Connect requires an Intel i5 processor 8GB of RAM, an NVIDIA 1070 graphics card or equivalent, which has a dedicated GPU with DirectX 11 support, 25GB of hardware space, and Windows 10 64-bit operating software. Laptops generally don't have dedicated graphics cards, so if you are thinking to use yours, be sure to do some research and be confident that it will handle the software. If you have a dedicated computer for your golf simulator, it makes it that much easier to be able to walk right in and play golf right away. The fewer the steps there are to turning on your sim to play the game, the more enjoyable your experience will be. At the making of this video, E6 Connect is not compatible with the Mac operating system, however you can be able to play if you have Bootcam installed on your Mac. If that's your plan, be sure that your Mac does not have the M1 chip because those are not compatible with Bootcam. The newer Macs usually have the M1 or M2 chips, so if you have one of those, then you are out of luck for now. If you haven't done so already, go to the E6 Connect website and purchase your yearly subscription and download the software. After you do that, you will be able to link your subscription to a specific computer. If you bought the Mevo Plus, then you already have a limited version of E6 Connect that comes with it, but you can only play it on your iPhone or iPad. However, most people will find that lacking and will eventually purchase the yearly subscription online that will allow them to play on their computer. Once you have linked your new subscription to your computer, you can download all the courses and start playing golf. Next, you can connect your computer to a TV or projector. If you are using just one display, all that you have to do is run an HDMI cable from your computer to your projector or TV. If you are running a cable that is 20 feet or longer, make sure that you buy a quality 4K cable that is rated for longer distances or you will lose some picture quality. If you are setting up multiple displays, you will need to purchase an HDMI splitter to make the image show on more than one display. Keep in mind that your splitter will most likely require its own power supply, so make sure that you plan out where you will place the splitter to make sure that you have enough length of cable to connect power and the other HDMI cables. You will need one HDMI cable to run from your computer to your splitter, then as many cables from your splitter to each display depending on how many displays you will be connecting to. As you can see, it's important to plan where you will be placing your computer and displays because there will be a lot of cables to run. Be sure to buy long enough cables for Ethernet, power, and HDMI cords. You can buy wireless HDMI transmitters, but at the time of making this video, these normally lose image quality from the source and can be very unreliable. You need to have a clear line of sight without any obstructions for these to work as intended. That's it for this video guys, thanks for watching and being a supporter of the channel. I hope this video was in some way helpful and entertaining to you. If you like this content, it would really mean a lot to me if you hit the like button and subscribe to the channel because I have tons more videos like this to make and your support means the world to me. Thanks again for watching and see you in the next video.